to my channel. My name is Michelle of The Encouraging Word, where my channel is to help you grow in the things of God, to encourage you through detailed verse-by-verse -verse Bible studies, prayers, personal testimonies, and daily devotional and things like that. I'm getting ready to um, invite a friend of mine who has been through some really tough stuff, you guys, just medical problems, and God has done a miracle in her life, has done some major healing in her body and in her heart, and I'm gonna have her on my channel pretty soon, so make sure you subscribe so you can hear these amazing testimonies that's coming down the pipeline. But today I just wanna do a spontaneous, Holy Spirit-filled prayer just for anyone, and I'm just gonna wait on the Lord and just pray, and hopefully he'll show up because he always does and encourage you with the Lord. So today is a prayer video. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your sovereignty, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your love and kindness and your mercy, Lord. Thank you, God, that you reach out to the sinners, God. You reach out to the broken. You reach out to those who are lost and hurting and in pain. You reach out into the scum of what's happening in the world and you rescue us, God. You snatch us out of the hands of the enemy, God. Thank you, God, that you were so holy and you were so righteous. We just want to worship you, Lord. We just want to worship you, Lord, and we lavish our worship on you, God. We lavish you, Lord, with our praise of your people, God. We we honor you, God. We honor you, Jesus. Thank you for dying on the cross for us. Thank you for dying for us, Jesus, so that we can be full of, full of you, God, and that we can be reconciled with you, God, that we can receive your spirit. For those who are in Christ Jesus, have you, Holy Spirit, living and dwelling in us. And we're so grateful. We're so grateful that we can just have you in us, we can go, we can know no matter where we go that you are there. You are always with us. You never leave us. You never forsake us. You are always around. You are there in the lowest of lows, God, and you are there in the highest of highs, God. God, you are merciful. You are holy and righteous, God. I just worship you right now, God, and those who are watching just worship him. We worship you. Oh, I feel the Holy Spirit. We worship you, God. We praise you. You are so holy, Jesus. You are so righteous. You are so powerful. You are so strong. You are so precious, Jesus. You are precious. You are the precious lamb that takes away the sins of the world. And we thank you that you took our sins away. We thank you, Lord, that the past sins of our past lives, God, of when we were stuck in sin, away, when we were wayward people, when we were lost, when we were rebellious, God, when we were far away from you. Thank you, Jesus, that you reached out to us and you loved us. And you, and you saw us when we were afar off like the prodigal son. And you looked at us and you ran to us and you wanted to throw us a feast. And you wanted to put a ring on us, God. And you wanted to put us in a beautiful coat and wrap us in your love, God. There's no other God like you, God. There's no other God like Jesus. There's no other God like you, Jesus. So we just worship you and we honor you and we thank you that you want to fellowship with us and that you see that we're in all our imperfect ways and sinful ways, God. How we try and how we struggle and yet we're so... We feel so far from where we need to be, God. Even those in us that we feel not equipped. We don't feel like we're like we're really um, where we need to be. Maybe we're disobedient from you, God. Maybe you're working on our heart in the realm of obedience. Maybe you're calling us higher and we want to stay down low because we're scared or because we're just afraid of the future. We're afraid of what's gonna happen. We're afraid that you're calling us into deeper waters with you, God, and we don't want to. We wanna stay on the surface because of fear. And Father, I just pray you will remove that spirit of fear right now from people in the name of Jesus Christ. You will remove the spirit of fear. You will remove the, the wickedness that is under attack, trying to keep people from fulfilling the call and the destiny 
and the anointing that they have on their life, Father God. I pray that you would go before those people right now, God, and put your healing balm on them, that they would feel the oil, the anointing oil, God, of you, Jesus Christ. The balm of Gilead would just flow from heaven right now from the top of the crown of their head, flowing like hot liquid anointing oil that you would go and that oil would uh, get out all the impurities, God, that these people <clears throat> have been suffering with, that these people have been uh, allowing in their life, but they want you to purge it out, God. Purge out the all of the sin, Lord. Purge out all the iniquity, God. Purge out all of the um, temptations that have been so hard for these people to resist, Lord Jesus. Father, uh, get rid of the demonic oppression and depression, the depression, the spirits of depression or, or anxiety or fear or feeling inferior. Lord, replace that with truth and love and light for them. Fill them up with what you say. Father God, give them a fresh perspective on what you are doing in their lives and that even though they don't feel equipped, even though they feel under attack, even though they don't feel like they're important or special, God, even though they feel lonely and broken and, and not usable, God, I feel like God would say to you, you are usable. You are beautiful. You are important in my kingdom. I am doing a new thing in you. I am raising you up. I'm going to cause you to do things that you would never even imagine because I am God and I am able and I'm going to make that which the enemy meant for harm. I'm going to turn it and flip it around and I'm going to use you. I'm going to use your situation. I'm going to put you on a pedestal, not for your glory, but for my glory, says the Lord. The That God wants to glorify himself in your life. God wants to press forward and use you. Stop being afraid. God doesn't give us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Stop agreeing with the enemy and the lies of the enemy. Get into God's word. The Lord would have you want to go deeper with him. He would want you to go and spend time every day with him. Stop putting the other things in front of the Lord. Stop trying to get into what the world says you should be into. Seek the Lord. Get on your face. Put on worship music. Pray and go for prayer walks. Ask the Lord to reveal himself to you. He will be revealing himself to you. He is no respecter of persons. He is going to raise up his army. He is going to anoint his children. He's going to speak love and truth and light. And he's going to put his spirit in you if he hasn't already. Know that the Lord wants you. If you are not born again, repent right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Repent for your sins. Turn away. Turn away from your sins. Stop doing them. You are made for more than your sin. You are made for more. Stop putting those things in your body. Stop allowing the enemy to ruin your heart and ruin your body. Press into the Lord. Cry out to Jesus. Get in God's word. Read the book of John. The book of John will tell you exactly who Jesus is whoever that's meant for. Go and get in God's word. Don't be afraid that you won't understand it because when you are born again and you accept Jesus, you know that you are a sinner in need of a savior and you repented and your contrite heart, you're grieving, you're, you're crying before the Lord even right now and you're repenting and you're telling God, please, please, please save me. I can't even do it anymore. I can't even... I can't even, I'm at the end of my rope. I'm at the end of myself. Good. I feel like God would say, good, finally, you're at the end of your rope. Then now I can take over. I can help you. I can speak to you. I can break those things off of you. Keep pressing into the Lord because the Lord wants you. He wants to use you. He wants to raise you up for his glory, because there are things that God has assignments for you to do. He has a purpose and a plan. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, but to give you a good hope and a good future. 
for those of you who are in Christ Jesus, that is for you, that God has a good hope in the future. It doesn't mean it will be easy. It doesn't mean that you're going to be walking through this life with God hand in hand with him and it's going to be all hunky-dory. But God is going to be with you. He never is going to leave you. He's going to walk with you. And there will be moments and seasons of your life that he will actually carry you. He will pick you up and carry you. Even when you don't feel like he's there, he's carrying you. And he's, he's taking you to another place, a new level. And you're always going to be growing and pro progressing in the things of God. And so, Lord, I thank you right now for whoever that's for. I thank you for the people you brought to this channel who are brokenhearted, who feel unequipped, who feel unuseful, Lord. Maybe they've fallen back into sin. Maybe they have had the worst time tr uh, in trouble resisting the enemy in certain areas of their life. Maybe they're new to Christianity or they're curious about what it means to be a Christian. Father, would you just speak to those people right now, Father God? Would you lay your presence so thickly upon them like a cloud, God? Would they not be able to escape your presence, Lord? Would they not be able to escape the conviction of you, Holy Spirit? Would they cry out to you and just confess to you all of their sins and all of the ways that they need to turn back to you and, and move forward with you and, and, and go further with God and don't be afraid. Don't feel like God is done with you. He's not done with you. He wants to use you. He wants to have you be a voice for him. He wants to send you into a world that's broken. There's some of you that God has been speaking to to do something with. He has been nudging you. He's like, do this. Go and do that. I have put it on you. And you need to go seek counseling maybe for it. You know, the counsel. God wants us to get... Um, godly wisdom through a council of people if god has put some godly people into your life that you can trust that are very biblically sound biblically based sound doctrine then go to those people and share with them share with them right now call them and tell them or send them a text and tell them hey i feel like god has been telling me to do this i don't know if it's right i don't know if i should do this but you know what there's wisdom that comes in godly counsel and put that before your elders, put that before the church, put that before people that have been running this race with you and you've been keeping this to yourself, but God would want you to share it with others. God would want you to share your sin because when we, now not with just anybody, not with just anybody, but with a few select sound people in your life that love you, don't share it with anyone that won't pray for you, okay? That is some word of advice right there of wisdom. If you have a friend and you have, uh, you know, an elder or somebody, your pastor or somebody in your, in your realm at, at church and you know who you know that truly loves the Lord, walks with the Lord, these are people who will actually get on their knees and pray with you and for you. Then go to them and say, hey, I have been having this sin in my life. I have been thinking about these things. I've been involving myself in these things or I have been triggered by this or triggered by that. I have felt so much demonic attack and depression and anxiety. I have felt, I've been trying to deal with all this by myself. And God is saying, no, you're not meant to deal with things by yourself. You're meant to deal with things in a fellowship of believers because I'm gonna use you and I'm gonna use other people in your life and I'm going to bring about such peace and joy and the fruit of the Holy Spirit when you release and confess your sins to one another, God does a new work in you. God can, it's like you can release that to the Lord and he can exchange that and he can bring healing in your heart. He can bring forgiveness of your sins. He can bring you to the next level. You need to let go of where you are right now in order to go up the ladder. You are not made to be a camper. You are made to be a climber. You're not supposed to stay in one place. You're supposed to climb higher and you're supposed to go and take the message of the gospel in whatever way that God is putting that in your heart, whether that's in the your family, your workplace, if that's in doing a new ministry, stepping out in ministry for the first time in your church, going and doing something somewhere with a, a person that has been asking you, hey, do you want to go do this with me? Do, does this ministry sound good to you? Or maybe you're going to a church and you're occupying a seat and you're not being fruitful there. You're not helping that church. Maybe it's time for you to get involved. God has been putting that in your heart. Hey, you're really good with children. Hey, you're really good with prayer. Hey, you're really good with finances. Hey, you're really good with this. Are you really good with that? 
then listen to the Lord because you're going to have spiritual prosperity in that because you're going to feel the fruit of the Holy Spirit is going to come. The Holy Spirit is going to give you so much joy, so much peace, so much uh, gentleness, kindness, self-control, all those things that you're having areas maybe of weakness in and temptation. When you are serving the Lord and serving his people, you're going to grow in those things and you're going to learn to let go through the power of the Holy Spirit and God's presence in your life and through the word of God and meditating on the word of God, you're going to learn how to let go of those sins and those areas of propensity and those temptations. God is going to take you higher. He wants you to do powerful things in him because he, he wants to use you and you need to let yourself be used. You need to let yourself be used. So Lord, I just thank you for this word. I thank you that whoever it's for, I have no idea. I pray that it ministered to them. I pray that they would be obedient in you. They would be obedient to your word above all things and that they would seek your heart, God, that they would seek you and they would come faithfully to you, God, and they would put their life before you and they would trust in you and they would... Um, just lavish their praises and their affections and their love upon you, Jesus, because there is no one greater than you, God. You are so powerful. You, you, you love the brokenhearted. You say you're near to the brokenhearted, Jesus. You're near to us. You know us. You know every thought, and we are, we're trying to take every thought captive unto you, Christ Jesus. And so just help us to remember, Christ, that you're for us, and if you're for us, no one or no thing, no principality, no powers of darkness, none of that can, can, can come between you and me, God. None of that can come between us and, and that we are forever with you, Lord, as we're seeking you. You are forever, Jesus, being our best advocate. You are our best friend and we can trust in you. We can trust in your faithfulness. We can trust in you whether we feel you or not. <laughs> we can trust in you um, to just be our best advocate, Lord. And so we thank you for that, God. We thank you for your sovereignty in our lives. We thank you that when we don't understand, we can still trust you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, I, I know that had to be for somebody. So I pray, leave me down in the comment if that encouraged you today, and maybe I'll do some more of these prayers. I just felt led to come on here today, and the Lord loves you. The Lord loves you right where you're at. He'll accept you right where you're at if you're a new baby Christian, but guess what? He doesn't want to leave you there. He wants you to grow. He's going to take you from, from right here, milk. He's going to take you from the small things of the introduction into Christianity, and he's going to grow you and mature you in the things of Christ into the meat. He's going to sanctify you. He's going to bring you through this process in which he's going to teach you, and he's going to convict you, and his, his voice is very loving and very strong, and I know that he's He's done some work in you today. So I trust that. And I thank you, Lord. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you need more prayer for toxic emotions or anything like that, I have prayer on anxiety, on fear, on demonic attacks um, and panic attacks. And I have scripture for that and loneliness and so many things. I'm going to link right here for you to go check out that playlist for prayers and scriptures. That's it for today, you guys. Bye-bye for today. I love you so much in the Lord. Bye-bye.